everyone has his childhood. My childhood began in bitter class oppression and was spent in fiery class struggle. That was more than 40 years ago. It was the stormy year of 1931. I was then only seven years old. I heard the grown-ups say that the Chinese workers and peasants' red army, led by the Communist Party in Chairman Mao, had reached South Hill and started making revolution there. It would soon come to our village. here today. That's great. Say, Dunda, why are they called Red Army? Red Army, are they red? My daddy says they all have a red star on their caps. Anyway, they are revolutionaries. They will finish off the landlords, finish off that old Ker, Hu Han San. They will help us poor folks to stand up and get even. When the Red Army comes, my family won't have to pay back rent anymore. <laughs> Ho Han San drove my grandpa to death. We'll settle the scat of blood. Don't go! Daddy! Daddy, where are you going? It's not a child's business. <laughs> you won't tell me. Well, I know anyway. Daddy, are you going to meet the Red Army? When are they coming? No more questions. You children, you'll know that pretty soon. Now, go pick your firewood and be home early, eh? Mm-hmm. Your dad's going to bring the Red Army here. Come quick, Red Army. As soon as you're here, we'll catch the landlord, Hu Han San. Have you all gone blind? Master! Master, Tang Xing Yi has run away. That dirty beggar. He can't have gone far. Get your men and search the whole village. Master, better go while the going is good. In case they come here, what are we... Why this panic? If we do go, we must get hold of him first. Otherwise, there'll be trouble. Look! Here comes Tan Xing Yi's son. Mm. Where's your father? I don't know. We'll see whether you knew or not. Hey. Uh. Hang him up! Get going. Get going. even here, yet you dare to rebel. Let me tell you, so long as I'm here, I am the boss. The Red Army is coming! The Red Army is coming! The Red Army is coming! Hurry up, hurry up. Mommy, the Red Army, the Red Army! There, come on, 
वे राधे डेडी माय बॉय रिमेंबर इट्स चेवमाल ट्रूप दैट हैव सेव्ड यू चेवमाल रीड आर मी अंकल For me. Now that you're in the children's court, you must get armed. Bang! The children's court is nothing like you, Red Guard. You have rifles. Mm. Different weapons, but the same task: to wipe out the enemy and defend our Red Power. Uncle. Hello. Look at the boy. Me, 
the landlord. A bad egg. <laughs> oh, no, I won't. Hey, he's getting he's away. away. He's, he's getting, getting away. away. He's getting away. You go after him, I'll head him off. Good. The old fox Hu Han San escaped. In 1933, when the Kuomintang mobilized a million troops to start the fifth campaign to encircle and suppress our central revolutionary base area, this fiend followed his master back to make another frenzied attack on the people in the red base area. that shot. Mommy, did you hear it? How clear! Mommy can't tell. Go back to your post, eh? Right. Don't go! Train yard! They... They killed... Who A big... Big... Bigger fish. How big? Their regimental commander. Who killed him? Our Red Guards, of course. Your dad led the Red Guards to help our main force hold off the enemy at Mount Tiger. The leadership says we are this. Mommy, did you hear that? Our Red Guards have won the victory. Yes, we know. <laughs> Sister Pan. Uncle Fong. Uh, Sister Pan. Uncle? Mm. Eh? Your family, something's happened. Go and find out. Take my place. All right. Grandpa Song. your wound? Here. Yeah. Nothing serious. Mr. Vern. Daddy. <laughs> Crying? A member of the children's corps? It's war. There must be bloodshed. Team need a pan. The bullets must be taken out. Sure. No use keeping it there. The last temple. 
What is it? The anesthetic. I don't need it. Save it for the badly wounded. For a comrade who needs it more. Team Leader Pan. You are badly wounded. Oh, doctor. Be sensible. Look how strong I am. Team Leader Pan. Comrade. Let's not waste any more time. Come on. Dongzha, go out and play. Go, dear. Mm. That's a good boy, eh? Go. Uncle Wu. Afraid? Daddy is not afraid, neither am I. Right. Hardships and difficulties are nothing. If you don't give in to them, they'll give in to you. When I grow up, I'll fight the enemy too. I'll get their blood for your blood. I'll make them pay. Just to avenge me alone? My child. It's not to avenge any one person. Look, what's this? A bullet. Where from? From a white bandit's gun. They fired us. They after our blood. They want to rob us of a red power. Only by wiping out all the white bandits on earth can the poor and oppressed people win final liberation. When Father got well, he and some other Red Guards joined the main force of the Red Army and took part in the fifth countering circlement and suppression campaign. How bravely the Red Army fighters and revolutionary masses fought to safeguard the Red Power. Yet, for some reason, things became more and more difficult and our base areas became smaller and smaller. By autumn 1934, our main force in the central base area had to pull out. Don't you worry about me. I belong to the party and will make revolution anywhere. But after the Red Army leaves, Hu Han San's men are sure to come back. I'm afraid you are in for a very hard time. 
Hardships are nothing. But when the Red Army leaves, Ho Han San will come back. Then we'll lose the happy life we fought so hard to win. And we people will suffer again. That makes my heart very heavy. Don't worry. Our main force is going, but the party is still here. The guerrillas are still here. They'll lead you in the fight as before. Have you sent in your application for party membership? Mm. Then I don't have to worry. Our party will soon have another new member. So long as our party's here, we can stand any hardships. We'll stick it out till you fight your way back and win back our happy life again. When we are back again, our life will be even better. Even better, really? By that time, all the landlords will have been overthrown. The poor will be liberated. We'll then be building socialism and a communism. Ah. Oh. If we can win the revolution, so that Dongze and his generation can live a good life, whatever we may suffer is worth it. I'm away. The boy will be left on your hands. The child is a butt of the revolution. You must lead him along the revolutionary path and bring him up to be a revolutionary. grown up, I'll wear a red star like this and be a red army man, just like you. Now, now, did you hear that? Another red army man in our family. Mm. That's the right spirit. Sonny, I'm going. But I'll leave you there, this red star. Whenever things get tough and we miss the red army, just look at it. With this red star as a guide, you, a member of the Chinese Corps, will grow up to be a real Red Army man. did I learn the reason. The Red Army's withdrawal was one of the grave consequences caused by the third left opportunist line. The opportunists would not let Chairman Mao lead us. They took away his command of the Red Army. Thus, we failed to defeat the enemy's fifth encirclement and suppression campaign and had to give up the central base area set up personally by Chairman Mao.
uncle. Sister Pan, hurry up. Who has friends here? Elders and fellow villagers. <laughs> what a surprise, eh? Here's Hu Han San, back again. Liu Shi village, still belong to me, Hu Han San. Whoever has taken anything from me, return it. Whoever has eaten my brain, cough it up. Whoever owes me anything, I'll settle all the accounts with him, one by one. Master! Pan Xing Yi is gone. What? Pan Xing Yi is gone? <laughs> A monk may run away, but the temple remains. The son shall pay for his father, the wife for her husband. No one shall escape. Hu Han San returned. The class enemy made a comeback. All the fruits of victory and the happy life we had won by following Chairman Mao's correct line were lost on account of the erroneous line. we two left? No. There are many people all with us. Where are they? Our party is still here. Our Red Army will surely return. Mommy, when will Daddy come back? Mommy! Sonny, don't you remember how the song goes? When spring comes, and azaleas bloom on the hills, your father and his comrades will return.
Dongja. I haven't been away at all. Why? Thinking of your daddy? Mm. Mommy said when spring comes and azaleas bloom, our Red Army and Daddy will come back. The Red Army will surely come back. How nice! When the Red Army comes back and your dad asks you, Little Dungs, what have you been doing since I left? What will you say? Hmm? Mm. You will say, Daddy, I've been waiting for you. Am I right? Mm. But we can't just wait. Dungs, we must fight the enemy. Fight? Ho Hansen is fierce, but he's on his last legs and he's doomed. If we keep on fighting till we crush the enemy, the spring your mother spoke about is bound to come. And the flowers of victory will bloom. Let's go. I'll abide by our party constitution and discipline. I'll abide by our party constitution and discipline. Carry out decisions, observe strict secrecy. Carry out decisions, observe strict secrecy. Lay down my life rather than betray the party. Lay down my life rather than betray the party. Fight to the end for the cause of communism. Fight to the end. For the course of communism. Comrade. From now on, you are a member of the Communist Party of China. It's a great honor to be a communist in these difficult times. Mommy. Sonny. From now on, Mommy belongs to the party. I've given myself wholly to the party. I'll do whatever the party wants me to with all my heart. Mommy, you belong to the party. Then I'm a son of the party. I'll also do whatever the party wants me to. Comrade, what the little boy says makes us more confident of victory. I'm more confident too. There's a good boy. Dengzi. Right now, it's still winter, but the coldest days have passed. The spring breeze you've been longing for has come. The leadership has brought us a directive from Chairman Mao and the party. It says, the Central Committee held the Zhengyi Conference in Guizhou last January and corrected the left erroneous line. From now on, Chairman Mao is to lead our party and come out the Red Army again. Sonny, did you hear that? Chairman Mao! Under Chairman Mao's personal command, the Red Army has won a big victory in Guizhou. We've smashed the left opportunist line and are no longer on the defensive. We're advancing victoriously. And our task here? Well, Chairman Mao has thought of that. Oh. Chairman Mao and the party call on us to rouse the masses, strengthen our faith in victory, wage guerrilla warfare, and hit hard every enemy. Brother Wu, how happy our folks will be to hear the good news. Let them hear the directive from Chairman Mao and the party as soon as possible. I'll go down the mountain now. Mommy, I'll go too. Sonny, you wait here. Mommy will be back in a few days, eh? No. Uncle Wu says we can't just wait. <laughs> <laughs>
Grandpa, I'm not cold. My heart's so warm. Uh, good. Our party knows the mass is best and has sent your mother here, too. And me, too. <laughs> yes, and you, too. Now our folks are hearing Chairman Mao's words. It's just like the spring breeze blowing through the whole village. This old base area of ours is bound to thrive again. Grandpa, look. Oh. Go quick. Go and tell your mother. Mommy, the white bandits. Hurry up into the mountains. All right, let's go. Quick. Uncle, take the folks up there. I'll cover your retreat. No, you go, Mr. Boy. Uncle, for the party, you must. Quick. Sonny, go with Grandpa. Come on. Mommy, but you? Mommy belongs to the party. She can't let the masses suffer. Mother's obeying the party. I'm the party's son. The party wants you and Grandpa soon to take the people to safety. Mommy. Be a good boy and obey the party. in the house.
to join the Red Army. Good boy. The battle will soon start. You and Dung, stay here. No, let me go. No. Stay here. Uncle Tong! Brother Wu, have you caught Hu Han San? Aye, no such luck. The old fox Hu Han San went to town for more men last night. Brother Wu, today Tunze has done a marvelous job. Just look! <laughs> Why? Where's Tunze? Eh? He was here just now. Let's go. Uncle Wu's coming. Dear villagers, not long ago, a communist gave for life at this very place in order to tell us revolutionary truths and the party's instructions. When one fight of force, thousands more will rise up. Comrades, let's take up arms, fight a guerrilla war, and hit hard the enemy to win back our red power. Final victory will surely be ours. Brother Wu, give us guts to win us back our red power.
blockade the mountains. Strangle them! The sky our roof, herbs and fruit are our food. Every hardship we defy, our red army fights our mountains high. Well said. So long as we have this spirit, the Otox who has sand may try to strangle us. <laughs> 
freeze us or starve us to death with his blockade. But you never succeed. Now, you know, we have a lot of difficulties. Look, here is all the sort we have. Without sort, one grows weak. He can't march or fight. Life's hard, eh? Sure, but I'm not afraid. Right. Hardships scare the weak, but feel the strong. Two years ago, one of our comrades was wounded. He needed an operation to take out the bullet. But we were short of anesthetics, so he just clenched his teeth till it was over. That was my father. Yes. To make revolution and to fight against difficulties, we must have plenty of guts. Define death is not enough. You must define withstand any difficulties. Only then can you be a real Red Army fighter. This is for you. Eat it while it's hot. Team leader, the villagers have come. Good. Be sure to take it, eh? Mm -hmm. Come along. How are things down below? <clears throat> Wuhan Zan is now chief of the county security corps. And he has asked his boss for a battalion of regulars. That's fine. The more enemies we ping down here, the easier we make it for our main force. <clears throat> Wuhan Zan is a ruthless fellow. Mopping up evictions and blockade. He set up so many pillboxes and checkpoints. We can't get supplies through to you. And we're awfully worried. This makes things very tough for you. Uncle, we've given you enough trouble. <sighs> Let Hohan San blockade the mountains. The army and people together will fight and break through. Any plans? Mm. We've received orders. To smash the enemy blockade, we are to go and fight on the exterior line for some time. Oh. Mm. Now, if you're going to fight on the exterior line, Tungzu is too young to go with you. Leave him with me. Just what I was thinking. Let him go with you. Learn and temper himself in the school of mass struggle to get more experience. When his father returns, the boy will be a real revolutionary fighter. <laughs> I'm sure he will. Our Dungs is an eaglet, not a chick. Uncle, don't always keep him under your wing. <laughs> <laughs> Dungza! Come on, you there. You go there. Come back. Dungza! You're wanted. You take over. All right. Come. Come, come, come. come. You there. Look, who's here? Grandpa oh, 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 oh. hey. <laughs> <laughs> We'll go very soon. Where to? Down the mountains with me. Uncle Wu and the others are going very, very far away to fight a guerrilla war. I'll go with them, no matter how far it is. And fight, too. No, no. Don't. I've grown up. I'm strong now. Come on, try me. <laughs> All right. Try hard. <clears throat> Ah, stronger now, and taller too. But how about your thinking in there? More revolutionary ideas? Come, I'll give you a test. Mm. Come.
come and try. Can you lift it? <laughs> Don't you sneer at this bamboo container. It's quite heavy. It's filled with the love and concern of all the workers and peasants down in the valley. <laughs> come, now open it. People can't live without salt, can they? Grandpa, let's go. Good. <laughs> oh, here. Mm. Come, put it on. Here, don't forget your school book. Mm -hmm. Study hard, eh? Mm. Remember, when we meet again, I'll give you a test. <laughs> You've been both father and mother to him. Don't say that. The party is his true parents. <laughs> Dunga, bring along the water container. Yes, Grandpa. Mixed with gravel. What a cursed world. Show me that. Lara! Lara! Quick! Stand back! Go! Tension! Get out of the way! Stand off! Ready!
Don't you see? These tricky rascals, they're red to the bone. You must search them thoroughly. Search them thoroughly. Yes, sir. Move on. Come here. Pay me for it. Come Pay here. Pay me. You Pay me for it. You. Damn you. 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 Oh, uh, you. Uh, Pay me for it. Uh, uh, Get away from my boy. We are safe and sound. We'll find a way. Hm. Come on. Grandpa's room. Look. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Good for you, boy. Your wings have grown strong. Good. to see you. We've got the sort Dunson collected. We ought to thank him. Uncle, don't thank me. It's the people in town who gave it to you. <laughs> really? Of course. Yes. <laughs> now, go and give the comrade on guard some water, eh? All right. <laughs> you were right indeed. 
He's really an eaglet. <laughs> yes, indeed. He's full-fledged. Better let him fly himself. <clears throat> what? The enemy blockade has failed. They are preparing to send regular troops to comb the mountains. Then you'd better come down the mountains. The villagers are suffering under Huanzan. They are longing for your return. I know. It's time we change places with the enemy. Together with our brother units, we're going to the white zone. Then when the moment comes, get rid of that Huanzan. <clears throat> Good. Wonderful. <clears throat> Good for you, I say, if you can rid us poor people of that beast. That's why I want to send Dengzi to Yawan Town. To Yawan Town? Mm. You see, the Maoyan rice shop there wants an apprentice. The proprietor is commissioned to supply grain to the enemy. Let's send Dengzi there. He can work with Sun Yat to supply us with information. We'll be able to learn a lot more about the enemy. But he's a mere child. In your eyes, he's always a child, a child. Still, he's tempered in fire. A sword sharpened a stone. A boy can't stay forever in the children's call. <laughs> Besides, you'll be there to help him. Then, then let him fly high. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Wu. <laughs> the comrade on God said you won many big battles, but you haven't said a word about them. Hey, no, no. <laughs> you too had a part in them, eh? <laughs> Dear, what for? Didn't you say you would test me? My boy, you've already finished your course here, and you've passed your test. Now the party is sending you on to a new school. There you will learn new things, and new struggles are waiting for you. I'll do whatever the party wants me to.
What's your name? Guo Zhenshan. What do they call you at home? Jiao Shanzi. And your age? Twelve. Hmm. I say. Xiao Shanzi, why are you working in my shop? You must keep your hands clean. Mind you, no stealing. The mistress has sent me for Xiao Shanzi. Go then. It's him, is it? It's Bartin. Yes, yes. Take a seat, please. Please, sir. Oh, <laughs> please. Why isn't the boss selling rice? Hmm. To raise the price, of course. A bad egg, the boss. It's enough to drive one mad. We are cut off from our folks. Can't see the red star, can't sing songs, or play down with the landlords. Ah. If only we could fight the enemy with Uncle Wu. How nice that would be. That's no way to talk. Aren't we in the fight here, too? Right. Say, don't run.
if only we had wings, like an eagle. To the north, we would fly and fly until we reach Yang'an to see Chairman Mao. Wouldn't that be great? Uh, Chairman Mao would give us guns. Mm. Hey, I say, would Chairman Mao know us? Know who we are? Of course. Who is who and what he has done, Chairman Mao knows quite well. Then we must do our best. How can we go empty-handed to see Chairman Mao? Right. We must help Uncle Wu get rid of Hu Han's son and the enemy, the whole lot of them. We must win back our red base area. Then we'll go to Yang'an. With red stars on our caps, we'll go and see Chairman Mao. Take a seat, please. Mr. Shen, this lot of grain is for the army. I see. Commander Hu is buying it on official orders. Be sure nothing goes wrong. Of course, of course. On this transaction, you get a good 30% profit. Your rice shop will make a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Adjutant. You will get a fat share. How many troops will be going up the mountains? Let me know. I'll get things ready. That's a military secret. Between you and me, one regular battalion, two piece preservation company. They will need a lot of grain. The security corps in town has to be fed too. They won't need much. Only 20 to 30 men will be left here in town. When do they want the grain? The tooth will set out early tomorrow morning, and the grain must follow immediately. All right, then we'll load the boats at midnight and start off at daybreak tomorrow, eh? How many troops will be going up the mountains? One regular battalion, two piece preservation companies. Only 20 to 30 men will be left here in town. When do they start? Early tomorrow morning. a good job. Your handwriting is as good as the manager's. Learn that in the hills. Mm -hmm. Get up! Get up! Get up and have the right! Aye! Shashanda! Shashanda! Get up and carry it right! Hurry! I'll sleep here and coming! <laughs> this message to Grandpa soon. We must try to get rid of the whole lot of grain. How? We'll think of a way when you come back. Right.
rice has all been loaded on boats at the back. And will soon be smuggled away. Ah, Maria, Maria. Eh? I saw it with my own eyes. Hey, do you hear that? They won't sell us the rice, but they're shifting it away. The villains want to starve us all to death. Come on, let's stop them! Let's go! change has cost me ten tons of rice. Who did that? Dongzi did it. Dongzi did it. Well done. Well done. Well done. The information is important. Brother Wu, the enemy started off early this morning. Fine. We'll leave these mountains for the coming down troops to climb. Let's launch a surprise attack on your and town. Smash the enemy lair. Good idea. Yeah. Well All right. Get ready. To you. To you. Come, help yourself. Have some more. So, that's the end of my shop. Ten times of rice. The loss to your shop is a small thing. But the delay to our military operations will be very serious. Commander, come, have some more. Help yourself. Have you investigated the rice riot? It's been reported to the police. <laughs> police are the good for nothing. This doesn't look like an ordinary mass riot. Most likely, the communists and the guerrillas are behind it. Commander, have a smoke. Have a smoke, please. Hey, let me go. Who oh, else I recognize you? No. Xiao Sanza, bring the dishes. Coming. Come, come, help yourself. Help, help yourself. yourself. Have some more. Help yourself, please. Help yourself, please. Come, come, the boy. Where is he from? A local boy. Uh, from this town. With a shop guarantee. His home is just outside the town. Not far from here. Help yourself. Help yourself. Mm. Do have more, please. You'd better look closely in your own shop. Uh. A wolf hidden in the house to the most dangerous. Uh, yes, sir. I'm willing to give you a hand. Many thanks, thanks Commander Wu. Have, have yourself. yourself. Have yourself. Come on. Uh, what's your name? Guo Jingshan. Where are you from? From the Guo Creek. And how far is it from town? Two miles. Ah. Come, help yourself. Have some more. Mm. Commander, have some more. Oh, dear. Commander who? Your hand. Oh. It was bitten by a young beast. Oh. Have some more. Have some more. Okay, here. Have some more. Have, have another,
your mother at home? No. Dad? No. She's alive. And your father? At home. What is he? A butcher. <laughs> I bet he kills people, too. Well, what's her name? Gordon Shan. That's a lie. Your name is Pan Lung. Your father is Pan Xing Yi. Your mother was burned alive. Am I right? Gordon Shan, your mommy is here to see you. Come in. <laughs> Leave right away. Suppose Wuhan Sensor goes up. No, I won't spare him. I'll finish him off tonight. Then I'll help you. No, you go to Grandpa soon. Ask him to tell Uncle Wu during the commotion he must attack the town. All right. And you, quick, we are in a battle. Tell Grandpa soon I'm a son of the party. He needn't worry. Another winter passed in fierce class struggle, then spring came round again. Chairman Mao's policy for a national united front against Japan was a brilliant success. As a result, the Party Central Committee ordered our Red Army guerrillas fighting south of the Yangtze to proceed to the front lines of the anti-Japanese war. The comrades Chairman Mao sent from Yang'an to lead us on the march were to arrive soon. A 
Uncle Wu. Don't you remember? What? Mother once said, when azaleas bloom, our Red Army and Father will come back. I also remember you wanted to be like your father. Paint this rare star on your cap and be a real Red Army man, right? Yes. When can I? Right now. Right now? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Now, put it on. Salute! I could hardly recognize the boy. Naturally. When he left home, he was still a child. But now, he's a Red Army fighter. Daddy, all these years, I've kept the red star you gave me. And finally, Uncle Wu helped you to put this star on your cap. Oh, no. He himself kept the rare star in his heart. All these years, with this rare star lighting his path, he has never retreated a step. My boy, remember, it's the party that has brought you up. You still have a long way to go. From now on, you must look before each step and make sure you are marching along Chairman Mao's revolutionary line. Mm -hmm.